Hey gents, every once in a while I get introduced to a new brand that I like in the unboxing, but then over time, they slowly become a larger part of my wardrobe than I initially anticipated. And today we're gonna talk about one of those brands. We're talking about two years with wool and prints shirts and my experience with them and why I think they are at an incredible value in shirting right now. I'll put links to wool and prints so you can check them out. That lets them know you came to me, keeps videos like this coming. Now let's get into it. So I started with wool and prints when I bought these on Black Friday in 2016. This came right out of comments from you guys suggestions on a brand that I should check out and they're very unique because they offer dress shirts but they're wool dress shirts so I have performance dress shirts which are usually synthetic fabrics some combination of cotton and another synthetic fabric but these are 100% merino wool shirts and although you can be skeptical about that and shirts that are 128 to 148 dollars but after two years with these three shirts and these two pairs of underwear I can tell you that these are some of the best value in shirts. Wool and Prince offers a whole range of clothing for men. They have dress shirts that you can wear to the office. They have button down casual shirts, also office appropriate. They have button down short sleeve shirts. They also have tees, polos, socks, and underwear. Their socks at $18. If they were over the calf socks, they would be tied with darn tough for my absolute favorite socks. I have one pair from them. They are the gray pair. They're mid-calf socks, but the fabric on them, the construction, and the way they've held up to some rigorous wear over time matches that of darn tough, and they're just as comfortable, and I really like them. Unfortunately, I prefer over the calf socks, so maybe they'll get to that at some point. So the socks are wool, but let's talk about what makes the shirts and the underwear unique, which is that these are also super soft merino wool. This isn't your, uh, your grandfather's Shetland wool blazer or something like that. These are extremely comfortable, breathable, wrinkle resistant, and durable shirts to wear over time. So let's talk about the three shirts that have been my rotation for the past two years. This green button down shirt is actually being retired. I saw a few listed on the site for like $68, they're probably gone by now. This is their standard gray button down shirt, and this is their heavier weight burgundy shirt. Both of these are still available on the site. Their shirts come in extra small through extra large, and then some of the shirts have tall sizing, which is great for me. I would be a small tall, I would assume. And then they also have regular fit and slim fit shirts. So this heavier weight one in burgundy you're seeing, this is a slim fit. The gray shirt and the green shirt are both standard fit. All of their shirts are medium. Pretty much any uh, standard dress shirt that I buy is a medium, and so these fit right in line with other shirts. But you can even see in the regular cut on the green gingham shirt that it's not a slim taper, but it's not a big, thick, full taper either. It's a pretty modern fit. So even on me, when I typically prefer slim fit shirts, because I like this fabric so much that I'm willing to accept the way that this shirt fits. So fit-wise, you can go in and find if you want something that is slim or if you want some tall stuff. Uh, I don't actually have one of the tall fitting shirts. I'm just basing that on other brands. I usually wear a small tall or a medium. But if you're really interested, I'd love to pick up another shirt from them anyway. But let's talk about the reason that I love these shirts so much. So we've established the prices are slightly high, but there's a lot of value in that price and then also the fit on things. But let's talk about the real differentiator here, which is the wool and the reason that this has become one of my primary go-to travel shirts. So a lot of times when I travel, I'll either wear a wool and print shirt or a mizzen and main shirt. I love the performance aspect of traveling in a shirt so that you look like put together, but also you don't look wrinkly after sitting on a plane for the whole day. Also breathability is very important and then ease of care for like packing and other things. So merino wool is kind of like nature's performance fabric. It's very breathable, it's very durable, it's naturally odor resistant, and it's wrinkle free or, or extremely anti-wrinkle. A great case in point is this gray shirt right here. This is one of my most worn shirts in my entire shirt collection because I like the look of it, but also because it's all of those characteristics into one. And this shirt right here, I wore to a concert two weeks ago. I got it completely like sweaty and gross at the concert. I went back to the hotel, I put this into a like warm ba water bath in the sink, and then I wore it the next day. I then crinkled it up into a suitcase and opened it up, and this is what it looks like. You can see there are a little bit of wrinkles going on there but it's really not that bad. Now, what I would probably just do in order to get the wrinkles out is to either like steam this right over here, or I could put this in to like a tumble on a, on a dryer, and I found that these are so resistant to wrinkles that it takes very little to get this done, or it'll just work out as I wear the shirt throughout the day. It'll have a little bit of the residual wrinkles when I put it on, but it usually works itself out. And the reason this video came to mind to do right now is that as soon as the temperatures go 
below like 70 degrees, then that's when these become a stable part of my wardrobe. If it's like 80 and above, the shirts are very breathable, but I wouldn't recommend wearing these if you're trying to stay cool. It is a merino wool shirt. That's where I look at some of the other performance dress shirts. But as soon as this becomes either a layering piece, I love to wear these under jackets. You have to, you don't, you don't even need like a merino sweater. I like merino sweaters, but you don't even need these extra layers on these shirts because they do help keep your temperature in. But if you wear this just as a regular layer on top, it is very breathable. Kind of like Oliver's, those Oliver shirts that I reviewed where I run in those a lot. If it's above like 75 degrees, then I think it is just too warm for the wool. But underneath that, which is what, like 60% of the year here in Pittsburgh, then it's an incredible shirt. And the other thing that's really nice, especially pertaining to dress shirts, is that the washing of this shirt, like I mentioned, I put it in a sink whenever I'm traveling. I, I took one of these shirts with me on two weeks to Europe and I was able to wash it in sinks. But if you're washing it at home, you just do it on like a mild warm wash and then you just hang dry it and it comes out beautifully. Unlike other dress shirts, you gotta kind of dry clean them and take very delicate care of them whenever you're washing. With these ones, you can put these in with your underwear, wash them, and then they're great. And the other thing too, compared to a regular dress shirt, is these shirts are much more durable. I've had dress shirts that are cheaper that I blow out the elbows because you wear those down and they end up blowing out. From a durability standpoint, merino wool is six times more durable than cotton. You can absolutely feel that in the way that this is constructed, whether you're packing this up in a ball and putting it in a suitcase, you get advantage of the anti-wrinkle, or you're moving around a lot and you're going, you know, if it's under a blazer or if it's, you know, part of a layering piece, the durability of the shirts is unmatched. A collection here, I would absolutely recommend getting one of these lighter weight shirts. I think they are a great value. If you live in like a colder climate that you do want to have that thicker, heavier weight merino wool, I really like the burgundy one. That's the 210 GSM that is much thicker, but it is the absolute perfect shirt for once it, the temperatures dry drop below, you know, if you're going into the 20s and 30s like I am right now, those are great shirts to wear. And as for the underwear, take all the things that are great about these shirts, apply that to the underwear. Extremely soft, very breathable, odor resistant, easy to wash when you're on the road. So again, I took one of these, I took both of these pairs actually with me on some of my longer trips and I would just wash these as I go. And then also, the temperature rule does apply to these, so if it's like 80 degrees and above, uh, because you don't have any breathability in your slacks or your trousers, that's where I would kind of stay away from, but in the winter time, whew, these get a lot of rotation in my collection. Also from a durability and resilience within the fabric, these and the shirts and the pair of socks that I love look as good as the day that I unbox them. And it's not something I can say for some of my other standard cotton pieces or you know even like when I talk about MeUndies, it's like those kind of degraded very quickly in the wash. These have gone through several washes and they still look and feel just as good as they did coming out of the box. Same thing with these dress shirts. I have some dress shirts that wear out very quickly, the standard cotton ones, but these shirts here, after several washes, many wears over two years, highly, highly recommend. So there you have it, gents. That is my field test of woolen prints over the last two years for their socks, their shirts, and their underwear. I don't have any other pieces yet, but I've had my eye on their polos for a while. If you guys wanna see some more of their stuff, let me know. Thank you as always for recommending awesome, cool brands. If you have any of those, I have links to a brand tracker below. I'm always reading the comments and making notes on those types of things there. And I know that you guys like to see these types of videos because uh, I do just buy a lot of the stuff for the channel and so I'm able to say whatever I want and I know you guys appreciate that too. And so if there's any other questions, comments, as always, you can reach out at the underscore Cavalier on Twitter and Instagram. Love to hear from you guys over there. I'll be down in the comments too. Until next time, gents, this is the Cavalier.